sort of split apart a bit early. There was four of us in a bit of a breakaway, which included three of the, the Rush Ballo team, which yeah. was pretty awesome. Um, I think we had like 40 seconds along, um, it was like 40 k's in along the road bit, and then um, the Peloton started coming back up the, the big seal climb. Um, but yeah, it turned into the gravel again just in time where I guess being in the bunch wasn't as much of an advantage. Was that the plan from the get-go? Yeah, the plan is really just to get a, at least, well, more than one of us in a break and then we could kind of use our numbers to our advantage and uh, that's exactly what we did, really. You had the numbers? Yeah, exactly. Like we had um, we had three people in there, so that was our team manager was stoked to see that yeah. and worked to, went exactly to plan. What was it like when uh, you saw uh, Heaney come across? Oh, uh, we're a little, a little bit worried, but also half expected it. Um, I was just sort of betting that he'd be pretty tired from bridging across and that ended up being the case. Yeah. We weren't messing around up the front there, so it would have been a big effort to catch up. Um, with uh, Harvey and uh, Heaney, they were working together? Yeah, they're pulling through pretty evenly, and then especially once uh, I let the wheel go and Cam got away, they were, they were pulling through and were quite happy for me to just sit on, really. Were you waiting for Heaney to crack so you could, uh, um, you could attack him? Pretty much, yeah. I'd either wait till he caught Cam and I'd go one to him, or uh, just wait till he cracked and end up being the latter. I got away about 8k to go up the final climb, um, just whacked it up there and uh, followed in. The, um, there was some, uh, some, uh, some nice tactics out there from the team. Um, the whole team must be completely stoked. Yeah, we are. Eh? Everyone feels like they've done their part. And um, yeah, it was definitely comforting to, to have Matt up there at the front. So when I went off my own 30 k's to go, I knew that it was, um, yeah, even if it didn't work, that Matt would be in a pretty good position. So I said, yeah, had nothing to lose and gave it some beans and yeah, paid off. You took a, you took a feed, you took a bottle at the, uh, at the last feed. Yeah, yeah, I started out with three bottles and dropped one um, sort of as Heaney was coming across after, um, after the tar seal. Um, which was annoying and yeah, I was every out of water with 30 k's to go <clears throat> and yeah, I was pretty relieved to see that, that feed station, like 20 to go and yeah, quickly quickly filled up and I think it was worth doing because I mean it could take some more food on board and got me to the line. Get you all the way to the finish, alright. Congratulations boys, one and two, one Thank and two you. steps on the podium, well done. Next year. <laughs>